This video shows you how to remove the vanos and the diaphragm springs. If you don't want to replace the diaphragm springs, you use a different procedure. Click on the link to see how. To gain access to the camshafts, you need to remove the covers on top of the engine and the coil packs. And you also need to remove the fan and the fan cowling. Rotate the engine to top dead centre and lock it using the crankshaft locking pin. Remove the little cover at the front of the vanos and unplug the solenoid cables. Disconnect the oil feed pipe and fit the adapter. The thread on the adapter is metric fine 12 with a 1mm pitch. Fully retard the camshafts as shown in the following video. Attach the airline onto the adapter. Pressurise the vanos and retard the camshafts. It's inlet and that's the exhaust. Remove the chain guard. Remove all the vanos bolts, making a note of the longest bolts. The longest bolt is the one on the top left. There's also an earth cable attached to the bolts shown circled. You'll only be able to pull the vanos forward a little bit, but that should be enough to allow you to remove the bridge. Push the vanos back into position and re-secure it using the bolts shown circled. You need to remove the inlet hub screws in the correct order and loosen the exhaust hub screws. You need to make sure that you've got access to the two bolts at the back of the exhaust sprocket. Remove the crankshaft locking pin. If you're going to remove the diaphragm springs, you must remove the inlet screws in the correct order. Failure to do so could cause the locking ring at the rear of the sprocket to fall into the engine. Loosen the two bolts on the inlet sprocket by one full turn. Just loosen them, don't take them out. And similarly, loosen the two accessible bolts on the back of the exhaust sprocket. Again, by one full turn. Turn the crankshaft to 240 degrees. This will give accessibility to the next two bolts. Taking great care not to drop the screws into the engine, remove the two exposed inlet hub bolts. Although in the video I remove the exposed exhaust hub screws, it is only necessary to loosen them by one full turn. Crank the engine through another 240 degrees and remove the next pair of inlet hub screws. Loosen the two accessible exhaust hub screws by one full turn. Rotate the engine back to top dead center and engage the crankshaft locking pin. Remove the two securing bolts from the vanos and you can finally remove the vanos, noting that as you do so the spline gears on the vanos will cause the hubs to turn. But because they've been loosened from the sprockets, you're not trying to turn the cams at the same time. Using a 32mm socket, remove the chain tensioner. Remove one of the two exposed inlet hub screws and insert a thin tool through the hole to prevent the locking ring at the rear from falling into the engine.
Remove the other screw. Move the sprocket forward slightly and whilst preventing the locking ring from falling into the engine, remove the tool. Manipulate the locking ring out from behind the sprocket. Advance the camshaft by 10 to 20 degrees. It should look like this. Insert your finger through the centre of the hub and remove the hub. Failure to insert your finger may result in a diaphragm shim falling into the engine. Slide the sprocket forward and remove the inlet sprocket from the chain. I'm now going to remove the exhaust camshaft. The first thing to do is to advance the camshaft so the lobes of number one cylinder are horizontal. It's best to use a tool to compress the camshaft when removing it and my tool fits in number two spark plug hole and number four spark plug hole. I use these spark plug holes because these are the valves that are partially open. Loosen all the nuts on the bearing caps so they are finger loose. Remove all the bearing cap nuts. Remove the bearing caps. If the tools worked, the camshaft shouldn't have moved. Loosen the pressure on the camshaft tool so that the camshaft is evenly released. Remove the tool and prevent any debris going in the spark plug holes. Disentangle the exhaust sprocket from the chain and remove the camshaft. With the camshaft off the engine, it's very easy to remove the screws from the back of the sprocket gear. When you get to the penultimate screw, put a small tool or a pick through one of the holes so the locking ring doesn't drop to the floor. Then you can safely remove the locking ring and using a full finger, insert your finger into the centre of the hub and withdraw the hub. The shim and the spring are inside the hub. Click on the link to see how to overhaul the Vanos and how to replace the diaphragm springs.